I was trying to think of a good segue there, but nothing came. I was trying to think, oh, you're not cut out for Game of Thrones, but I'll tell you who is. But then I don't know. I don't know. But the last, uh, the last show that we did was called Up Your Shot Game, I believe. And that was in reference to Israel Adesanya saying, and I quote, or I kind of quote because I can't remember, but something along the lines of my next fight announcement will blow everybody away. It will shock the world. Okay. Now, of course, Brett Okamoto from ESPN tweeted it yesterday that Israel Adesanya's next fight will be um, on the Gastelum Whitaker title fight. I'm assuming the co main event will be Israel Adesanya taking on da -da 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 Anderson Silva. Whoa, I see the shock on your face. I see your I'm mind shocked. is well, blown. I, I also. Harrington, said Harrington, does, does this blow your mind, Harrington? Are you shocked? I'm I'm blown away, Mike. You sound well, you sound fucking full of enthusiasm as well. It was one of the names that I named where I said that would be somewhat shocking if they said Anderson Silva. That's a that is a I mean look, shock you're not gonna shock the fucking world with anybody. It's somebody at 185 pounds. You know, if they said, Oh yeah, uh, Matt Damon's making his UFC debut, that'd be shocking. You know, yeah. they, you know, if, if it was somebody that jumped up a weight class, jumped down, somebody that came out of retirement, Michael Bisping comes back and fights Israel Adesanya. <laughs> that's the world. That would be sh that would be shocking, but but no, I'm sorry. Listen, I like the fight. I think it's a great fight, and we'll get into the nuts and bolts, shall we say, in just a moment. But uh, it's not shocking. It's a good fight. It's a good test. I think it's a solid progression for uh, Israel for Arasanya, whichever you want to call him, for the last style bender, whichever way you want to call him, however you like to address said person, it's a good fight. It's a step up in rankings, of course. Anderson was, uh, you know, he was the greatest of all time at one point. Is he still? I don't know. I think he's in the top five. I think he's in the discussion. Obviously, the steroids tainted Anderson's reputation forever. Um, his last fight against Derek Brunson was very, very uninspiring, and Anderson was kind of lucky to get that, to get that victory really was now that might encourage uh, a somewhat skeptical response from a lot of people. If I say Anderson was lucky to get that decision against Brunson because some people, and it still kind of drives me crazy. A lot of people think that I was very lucky to get my decision against Anderson Silva. And I still stand by the fact that one big moment in 25 minutes doesn't win you a fight. Yeah. You got that flying knee at the end of round three. Other than that, I pretty much uh, controlled the fight. But that said, uh, it's a great fight. It's a tough one for Anderson. It, for, sorry, for Israel and for Anderson. It depends what Anderson shows up. If Anderson shows up like when he fought me, he might give Israel some problems. We'll see because they're both tall. They're both lanky. They both got uh, excellent kickboxing. So it's an interesting clash of styles. Uh, incidentally, speaking of Anderson Silva, he, uh, he was taking some pot shots at me. I, I don't know if this is because he's out of suspension now due to his steroids or because he's fighting at middleweight again, or he just wanted to be a dick. But Anderson took to Instagram recently and posted a video. Um, Harrington, do you have this queued up and ready to rock? Tell me you have. Go on, surprise me. Surprise me. <laughs> I will say he won't have it on. It'll be, we'll give him, let's see, 15. Oh, sh 13. 12. 11. Yeah. And by the way, he muted that, us, and then I, I heard him say, oh, shit, because he pushed the wrong button. Mm. He's panicking as we speak. I'm Harrington. not panicking. Five. I'm just, I'm, <sighs> Four, three, two, one. I can send it out to the fans, but then what? you guys can't see it. If my shame bell was any closer <laughs> and I didn't have to get up, okay, you would be. I would be shaming the hell out of you right now, okay? Just, just know that the shame bell is on the other side of the computer, and I can't be bothered getting up. That's how little we think of you, Harrison. You're not even worthy of the shame bell. I mean, shame on the I shame bell. You, Mike, but, you sent me that. I would have said. I should have said, hey, I don't trust the fact that Harrington's going to be able to do this without Shannon. So you guys know, a lot of people don't know you know, when they're listening to this. They just jump into any episode. We're doing a Sunday night show, just sort of an extra episode this week, um, which we don't normally do. So we're, we are missing Shannon today, and I'm doing it remotely from at home. Mike Bisping's doing it from at home remotely. So the fact that we're even this far... I mean, Mike, I'll be honest with you. This might not even be recording. This might, none of this, this could be for yeah. nothing. I'm, I, there's a 50 50 shot this podcast is going to end, and Harrington's going to be like, dude, I didn't have the sound on. So, right. the sound 100%. is on. 
Uh, well, I don't know, Harrington. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I mean, I mean, let's go back to the original question. Uh, even after now, after all this time, can you play the video? I mean, I th- listen, you know, we had that little back and forth with Brendan Sharp and whatnot, but I'll tell you what, at least they can queue up a fucking video. What's the guy on Joe Rogan's? I mean, we're going to get some better talent, man. All right. So, guys, the fans are seeing the video right now. Give me one second. Okay. I'm not hearing Lewis. <laughs> Fans can see it, but we can't see it. Like the people that are watching it can it's, see it. Well, it's okay it's if they want to see it. If the fans can see it, well, it, well, it shows Anderson doing a flying knee on a pad, and then it shows Anderson doing a flying knee on me, and then it shows a close up of Anderson doing a flying knee on me. Now I don't speak Portuguese, and on Instagram it does have C translation, but it really doesn't matter to me that much to see the translation. Um, I it. get what he's trying to say. No, I didn't read it. I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to read. It. He's being a dick. He's trying to be condescending. I mean. I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> what is but, like, you know, what if he's fucking... Well, I mean, because I, I, the video is weird. It just shows him hitting this pad. Was that before or at... Was it like footage before? Was he saying he like prepared for that? Or I didn't really understand it because I didn't read the translation either. Yeah, no, no, exactly. And I didn't. But that's not why, you know, I mean, I'm not too bothered whether he was training before or after. People train flying knees all the time, especially somebody like... Anderson Silva. I responded with, oh, you're still bitter about that decision. I can't remember. You know, oh, nice to see you back after suspension from uh, doing steroids, dot, 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 again. You know, so, you know, uh. they say no smoke without fire. But when there's multiple fires and multiple smokes, there's multiple fucking needles going in your ass, Anderson Silva. You know, so there you go. Shame on you. Ding, ding, ding. Shame, shame, shame. shame. So shame I on have the needles. translation. Do you want to oh, read the translation? Nothing is impossible for those who practice training plus training plus training equals result. Then this is weird. In doubt is the strap on. Mm. He well, said he wants a, a new strap on. He wants a new. <laughs> Wait, what? I swear. Even the his last boyfriend line, wore out the other one. It translates hey, to in doubt We've is seen. the strap on. We've seen some of those yeah, videos yeah. where he gets dressed up. I don't know. Maybe he's asking for a new strap on. Who knows? I have no problem with it. You know what? This 2018, this, it's a new world. So God bless him. Hey, God bless him 100%. And that's not a believe you me, God bless. Listen, Anderson wants to do that. He wants to get a little bit fruity. He's looking for a strap on. He likes to jump in around. He likes dressing as a woman. You know, God bless you, Anderson. Fucking you go, girl. You go. <laughs> but you find, you find Israel Adesanya, you know, uh, the last style bender versus... Um, the last steroid taker, and um, it should be a great fight. Listen, all the shit. Listen, I respect Anderson Silva. That's why this whole thing pissed me off because I thought at the end of that fight when I fought him, we we did some like you know we bowed to each other, we embraced. I saw him afterwards at the hospital. We were both getting stitched up. We shook hands. We were full of respect. And then he went on this tirade of abuse. But whatever, I, I, I'll let it slip. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The great Anderson Silva. Um, but this is still an interesting fight. It's a great fight. If, if Israel can get past him, that's um, it's big for him. And of course, for Anderson, if he wants to come back, he's talking about the strap there. I'm talk- I'm assuming he's talking about the belt. He's talking about having the belt strapped around his waist, I would assume. For Anderson, it's good because obviously he's been away. Uh, he got suspended. For him to come back and you know beat somebody like Israel, that fast tracks him towards the upper echelon of the middleweight division again after being away so long so there's a lot at stake for both guys in this fight we won't spend too much time on that so well done i'm excited for that one that's a a great fight and of course if uh i think the ufc being smart if anybody gets injured you know between gastelum and whitaker one of those two guys whether it's israel or anderson will step up and help out in the main event seeing as they're both the same weight class so there is that mike mike before we move on really quick let's just talk about ridge wallet we got the holiday season coming up this is the perfect holiday gift if you don't know what ridge wallet is it is the front pocket wallet that is going to change your life mike tell them a little bit about it now i guarantee that your wallet if you look at your wallet right now if you put your hand in your pocket and pull out the wallet you will have a gray 
black, brown, some bloody disheveled, wrinkly leather thing. Probably inside there is receipts, petrol receipts, gas receipts. Shit you do not need. There might even be a picture of your fiance if you're a little woman. If you're like Luis J. Gomez, perhaps there's pictures Whoa. of your kids. But basically, there's a lot of stuff you don't need yeah. in those wallets. And it looks old. It looks smelly. Okay? But with Ridge... There's none of that. Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that's designed to let you ditch your bulky wallet. The Ridge wallet is slim, RFID blocking, and lifetime guaranteed. It is literally the last wallet you are ever going to need to buy. And it comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminium, polycarbonate, and over a dozen different styles. I mean, Lewis, I know you love a bit of poly polycarbonate. I know you love a bit of titanium. I mean, everybody's covered for Christmas. Come on. I mean, look, here, here's the truth, okay? My Ridge, I didn't realize how much I hated my other wallet until I got the Ridge wallet. It's super slick. You, it, you know, you, I, when you have your other wallet, you have all this other bullshit that you keep it in. When I had my wallet, I had 4,500 pieces of paper, receipts, business cards, things that I didn't realize that were cluttering up my life. Now I have my Ridge wallet. I simply open it up, have my credit cards, have my ID, boom, I pop them out, nice and simple. Every time I pull it out, anybody who sees it, they go, that is a really cool fucking wallet. What is that? And I let them know it's the Ridge wallet. In my opinion, this is the coolest gift you can get for your father, your uncle, your boyfriend, your best friend, whoever it is for the holiday season. Ridge wallet is slick as shit. Go to ridgewallet.com and take a look at what they have. I'm going to tell you right now, coolest wallet I've ever had. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, and a lot of people, they have those bulky wallets in their pockets. And that's not because it's full of stacked with cash. It's, as I said before, credit card receipts, all that type of shit that you just don't need. So with the holidays coming up, with Christmas on its way, we, of course, have a special offer. You can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping by going to ridgewallet.com slash BYM. That's ridgewallet.com forward slash BYM. Use the promo code BYM in the description and there you go 10% off free worldwide shipping state of the art polycarbonate titanium fucking wallets I mean this is like some mission impossible shit we got going on right now okay get involved get with the modern times